What up, it's your boy Visage for Life back with some more disco. We are in the apartment complex of the dude from the last video who let us cleverly know that the key's at the bottom of the stairs. So, let's see what we find out. Already coming into this bitch, it's dark as hell. Watch fill with cleaning chemicals, it smells like laundry detergent. What's this inside? Glasses. Uh, I get one logic, but minus authority. I wear the flip up glasses, why not? My authority is already pretty strong. That's a door that's open. Someone's sleeping in that bed. This Lauren scared you should leave. What's this? Ugh, slimy shower curtains. I forgot like a zoom in. Five pointed star. This door has been closed with a padlock. A chalk drawn number on the board says number 11. Number 11, huh? It's a solid lump of metal, but the shackle is deeply corroded. A solid pair of chain cutters would make short work of it. Well, we could use chain cutters, right? Why would we want to break into some random citizen's apartment? <laughs> I want to do snips. The lieutenant doesn't say a word. I suppose if one were committed to it, there's a pair of chain cutters in the kinema. I will do the knife all the time, see? No reply. Alright. Well, remember that we might need to cut that down about this one. You hear someone walking around inside, rearranging the furniture. The number on the panel says 10. Uh, the walking on. stops abruptly. You can feel tension on the other side. Tension? Alright, let's go knock again. Oh, poor communard, from the looks of it. The room is barely bigger than a closet. Who is this? Demands a female voice. Do I have to open the door? Uh oh. She's asked if she has to do it. Do you have a warrant? I'm not obligated to open the door if you don't have a warrant. Let's go. We don't have a reason to get inside that apartment. Alright. The voice of Reza said, don't do it. What is this? Boogie Street, it's a postcard. Mm, door number nine is locked. Ah, oh, who's this old lady? Give me a moment. The cold never does any good for my bronchitis. <laughs> Ooh, this won't take long. I have a few questions. Go ahead then. What do you want to know, policeman? Looking for Martin Martinez? Oh, you'll find plenty of Martins here. Don't you worry. A <laughs> real person. Brain. Someone played a trick on you. Martin Martinez is a name for anyone who comes from Martinez. Like Jim Jambrock or Raoul Ravagel. Oh, oops. You really didn't get the joke there. I thought it was obvious. Anyway, officer, we don't have the witness's name. Uh, my partner must be like, this guy's an idiot. Yes, yes. I know who you mean. The scrawny boy who's always smoking like the devil. Somewhere in the building, a child starts crying. You hear a radio. What's he in trouble for? Talk? <laughs> <laughs> oh my. He lives upstairs in room 28. Go to the balcony. It's one of those doors there. Thank you. We should go check out his apartment on the balcony. See if he's home. <laughs> oh, got to to Ask away, policeman. Who is behind the padlock door? Oh, that one is a scientist. I think he studies astrology at the community. Something to do with all those stars around his door. That's what I said. The lieutenant shakes his head. Come on, <laughs> people. Try to keep up any standards here. It's not about stars. It's 
forget it. <laughs> she said astronaut astrology, and he's talking about oh, that's astronomy. The artist? Nothing I can do about her, I'm afraid. She leaves an old lady to her business. More than I can say for others. Right, what about the woman in apartment 10? No one lives there. It's been impossible. I would know if someone had moved. Maybe it's those countercultural people again. Breaking into a house like it's a public space. Great. Young people. They're worse than rats. You know, always living So there is the someone by that door that shouldn't be there. And empty beer cans. She mumbles some kind of a response. Then hacks something into oh. the handkerchief. Yeah, we out. That's nasty. So we're gonna hack it into the handkerchief. Not on my watch. Ooh. What's this? Blaze crashing in the darkness. Someone that's torn down the wall. Got some money and I think a healing item. Okay. We're gonna go turn get those boys out of there. Do we go talk to our dude? Oh, that's the girl that we're talking to. The piggies have learned how to saunter up staircases. I didn't think you could do that with hooves. But here you are. <laughs> we don't like those yeah. doors. Yeah, you got me now. The dynamic between us has completely changed. That smell coming from her paint bucket. It's not. It's heavy fuel oil. Heavy fuel oil. Red dyed heavy fuel oil intended for exclusive use in government. What did he think I was using? Aquarelles? Sucked it out of a cop's fuel tank myself. Back in She Jamal. seems so proud of that. She really did it. She's proud of it too. Something to think about next time you're driving around in your pretty little piggy carriage. Uh. I'll just say catch you later. What's this? She holds it bad and she says, yeah, and y'all don't want to drive around with him. It's a good point. All right, this is a bed. It smells of chemicals. Labor jeans. If I get if I wear the labor jeans, what does that get me? Plus one electro <laughs> god ass. Might have an ass gun by the my learn says. Wow. Well off that I feel like I have to wear these god ass jeans. The pockets of these new jeans are perfect for sticking your hand into. Makes you look cool. Hey, it's a chewing gum wrapper. It reminds you of the fruity juice of apricot. Not familiar in a good way. There's a pain in there somewhere. Oh. Here's the chewing gum wrapper. A crinkled chewing gum wrapper. The worn label reads, Tutti Frutti. Good question. There is no answer or secret phrase written it on the inside to of it. drawn by regret. Stop before you hurt yourself with a tutti frutti wrapper. Throw it away, please. You no. carefully fold the wrapper into a square. Can't let that go away. That's gonna mean something. Oh, we got some jeans that make us have a god ass. Found the find the balcony, but 
It's true to pooch there. Closed with a padlock. Uh, oh, here's the balcony. All right, here you go. Rosemary. Just the door, nothing here for you right now. I go up here. All right, so we got all these apartments up here. Let's try this one. This door is made of metal and appears to be reinforced. Someone here really values their security. Number 28. This is where the cleaning lady said the smoker on the balcony lives. Let's see if anyone's home. No, no, no. no answers. Looks like the young man we are looking for isn't home. I think our best. We should return tomorrow after we have finished with our day's work. <coughs> How about 9 p.m.? Sound good? Tomorrow, 9 p.m., right here. Apartment. Remember, tomorrow. He's probably gone for today. Hmm. Okay. Twenty-nine. Thirty. I had to see him tomorrow at nine p.m. <sighs> the days I guess we gotta go back all right I guess we're gonna go back and handle those people that shouldn't be in this apartment Just a five pointed star. It's an inverted white pentagram cradled in a wreath of antlers. The iconography of communism, in other words. Communism? I'll keep my armistice handy, detective. The star and antlers was developed in this even today, half a century after. The star and antlers retains the ability to evoke hope, disappointment, and fear in equal measure. What? The wreath of antlers represents a natural crown. It was about building a society that could exist in accord with the natural world, and at the same time, above it. Mm. To symbolize the toppling of the old order. Also, some social democrats were already using it, because white is the color of peace. <laughs> I never thought of it like that, but I guess it is. Nothing at all yet. This is the door right here. You hear someone walking around inside. Re Excuse me? Scare them. Suspected of some big, big crime. crime. There's no sweet talking your way in there. Be official. Oh, come on. Oh, oh that's smart. Not nah, towards the unblocked door. Are we here to go in? What the hell is this? Can we just take her shoes? Black long straps. Looks like a fine mattress. Blister pack. We should take it. 
satisfied? My name is Marielle Charpentier, and I'm an agent with Martinez Realty Associates. I am not breaking in, as I have every right to be here. The keys, see? Oh, this story seems super fishy, because who are the real estate agent in this small, dingy apartment? Her voice is really cheerful, despite her obviously hating you. <clears throat> Do you want to see my ID as well? You can't legally ask for it, but why not? Want to see my residence permit too? Why not inspect the passport? It feels flimsy in hand, with the words Revachol Zone of Control, written under a nondescript municipal logo. There's a picture of her with shorter hair inside, along with all her personal details. Be friendly. Uh. Thank you. Do you have any questions? I need to be back in Midtown in an hour. It's like, who lived in a foreclosure apartment down the hallway? What are you doing here? I need to get it ready for the next lease, but as you can see, the previous tenant completely trashed the place. <laughs> Reprehensible who lived here, I f shit up too. Sounds like they knew I'd have a good time. I'll just do this because I feel like she'll respond better. It was some kind of a moribund old man who used to be a business owner. You'd think they'd make rent. But that was months ago. Anyway, was there anything you wanted or is that it? I'm in a hurry. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. another huge mess. The former tenant owes us three months of rent. And again, I have no idea how stupid mistakes like this can even happen. But Ron, when he came to close the door, didn't close the neighboring door. And there's a hole in the wall. So preppy. She's probably on some low-grade performance enhancers, like Prepta <laughs> or Pericanine. It's crazy that he's hearing this in his head. A hole in the wall. Can you believe it? And then the tenant ran off. Oh, it irks her. The incompetence. My money has also disappeared, I think. Yeah, I would say it could have been much more. These apartments are perfectly fine. They have gorgeous architecture, a million re I'll tell you, Martinez has a future, and if you- It's as if they're real wizards, able to resurrect dead real estate and breathe life into bank accounts. <sighs> I guess, but I don't agree. Don't ask me what happened with the wall. I have no idea. Both apartments are now unrentable. Both. Of course. <laughs> It's, uh, she's been waiting for you to leave. Alright. Sometime after 21. Okay. Report back to the clean lady. Give me a moment. Real estate agent. I see. I hope some good people are finally going to move in. This place needs them. That's all come spit. What are these options? They're all terrible. I guess radio computer wizards. Oh, I do like wizards, and people like that in general. They have a lot to tell us about our fates. Mm, who is she? I'm no one. Just an old woman. If you can call it living. I have a little room upstairs right next to the cold room. It's barely bigger than a closet. But I don't complain, no. I have my bed and my aching bones <laughs> to keep me company. And that's all I need from this world. All right, I got depressing real quick. They need to find like pad chain cutters. Looks like we got more people in this diner. I wonder if people in the back room could go see. able to talk to that guy can I help you 
Absolutely. You wait to <laughs> see, Caffert. Absolutely. In the question. First we find a sad <laughs> Then we say <laughs> this place, place to is shit. shit. I love it. Oh, for the Tati Joy, this dude? Mm. Ain't he going all Alina? Hello again, sweetie. His cooking utensils. Sure you see, I have you immediately feel drawn to the color. Blue. The door does not bite. The cobalt blue surface feels rough to touch. You do? It's a door in the back of the kitchen. Why do you care where it leads? Mm, it's probably only where I am. But okay. He's not bothered by your eccentricity. He seems genuinely intrigued himself. Guard, the many person to ask you. about this. The cafeteria manager. Okay. I got a new little side quest. Can I help you? Oh no. Another thing. Great. I love those. <laughs> oh, the store in the back oh, of the kitchen. Oh yes, that door. Sure. There's nothing mysterious about it. No, I don't have a key. I don't know how to get there. And I don't care either. It's not like I've been wondering about it. Or some huh. boring storage space with a... He's attempting to maintain an air of indifference. It's absolutely not good. Fine, <laughs> okay. A little. But So, I haven't opened it. I have cleaned the whole place a hundred times over, though. After the animals. And I haven't found a key, so good luck mm. with that. Yes. So we can either get in that door or not. You should pick that fat, juicy cigarette butt from the tray. Light it up and smoke the living shit. Who oh. knows what you are? A monster. A mer How very astute of you. This renders it ineffectual. Or you could not do that. No one is making you. I should not not do that. I'll make Frodo and we'll all think about it. Good. They'll make you stronger and plus smoking then give. Ugh. Here we go auto save or go to sleep. Kim also tries not to look at the pile of tape viscera on the carpet Ooh. or the weird suitcase. The man is finding it hard not to trip on the tape, where unidentifiable sludge makes it hard for him to breathe. It smells of vomit. <laughs> I did it my way. I can see that. The bed is cold and not particularly inviting. Oh. You see a Samaran street. The name Sile. Happy shopping, officer. E everything's cool. You're very cool. You're right, officer. One hundred percent. No playing around then. Strictly business. Maybe I can interest you in some premium menswear instead. Drugs? I don't go in unless you're into drugs, of course. In which case, drugs are excellent. What? That's so cool! You investigating uh. the local drug trade like some cool nut? Who said that? It's the fat racist, right? What? I bet it's him. So you admit you're a lorry driver? No, I just said I was. Okay, maybe I'm a lorry driver too. A little. But that's not the most important thing about me. That's my day job. This is my dream. Oh. Nothing. I and... He doesn't want to talk about them. He's afraid. Look, so afraid of. 
There's bad people doing bad things here. That's all I know. Please don't get me into this mess. I spent It's a she, okay? Oh. The other drivers call her the lady driver. You're better off staying away from her. The way they talk about her, she's no lady. Is she the old one that we saw then? I don't know. Maybe. It could be. She was strange. Who are you going to drive the Todd to? I don't know. Who exactly is talking about this lady driver of yours? All of them. Even the ones who've left. I don't hang out with them. I don't remember who has tattoos. All right. I scored. Let's cap this off with a purchase. You can walk away from... Well, I just came here and that turned into like a big lead. So the lady who gave us that weird story might be who we're looking for. Here we go. Hello, man. You called me at an opportune moment. Did you just call me a lady? She clearly doesn't think she's a lady. Don't repeat it. I'm not that either, Harrison. <laughs> I've gone too far from it all to remember what was between my legs. Wow, really? It doesn't work like that. I'm only terrifying to small children and to those who used to know me. It was the film I was told of. How should I know? Do I look like I spend a lot of time with the other camioners sniffing around? When I have my movies to go to. The big ones, the trucks. There's no women and men there. It's all just. Mm -hmm. In the middle of this town, there's a ghostly motorway. It's a because they can no longer recognize the person I once was. Well. Oh, Sim. Something in her is pulling towards some unknown rest state. She twitches. Like unknown a rest state? Is she trying to pass on? Mmm, the luxury of fine things. Just look at those black monk straps. After spending an entire day hustling, who's to say that you didn't deserve a pair of ridiculously expensive I'm shoes? Trying to even to get shoes? Beautiful things give you a rush. Remember, when they come to take it away from you, <laughs> you worked for those shoes. Liberal, Whether you like it or not, liberal. wearing these shoes has made you more liberal. Ultra liberal. Wow. Wow, you work hard. Oh, yes. <laughs> you hustle. You're a provider. It's tough out there. Oh, yeah. Like a horse. A workhorse. Look at yourself. You're a human pedometer. You must have walked two and that is the sign of a hustler who never gives up. <laughs> the world is harsh and people are evil. You didn't make it that way. And you won't let it break you. You ride. I <laughs> ride till I die, bitch. That's just what it's like. Life and death. But you got gills on your skin. It ain't easy. But you do it. Day in and day out. You didn't make the rules. But you won't lose. You can sell took so much from that. And a smart guy too. And a money printer. I guess I made some gifts. Sure, sure. Sure. And has it been easy? Is life easy? Have you not gone into cardiac arrest? Are you rich? Am I rich? Uh, no, I'm actually not. That's right. You work harder than any. You're still probably a hobo. You rode yourself to the grave and you're still practically a hobo why is that <laughs> say taxes that's right 100 percent fucking g-man's got his jam cover every time i sneeze feet. every time you wipe your ass they got their direct and their indirect mo 98 percent of all your money Are you sure that seems like a pretty big number? What are you not sure about? They're milking your nipples till they bleed. Can't you see? Aren't you sick and tired of having bloody nipples? 
<laughs> the deregulation. It's all about the tax issue, hustler. No other problem in the world is as present. <laughs> I have a dot now. I don't even know. What do you do with those? Minus two empathy. Cold blooded. Oh. I'm at a head that you have a side bitch ideology cooking somewhere. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I want to put. I don't know if I want to use the indirect motive. I don't know where to put that one. It's wild. Evening, officers. Well, there's the fishing village, an abandoned fish market. A b yeah, not really much else. Just bomb. Sure thing. Want some too? Why oh, not? I go to a crumpled billboard reading Samaran butter soaks in the canal. Two ugly lines mar the bright countenance of the blonde boy depicted. What is Samaran Whatever butter? it is, the boy on the billboard seems very happy about it. <laughs> it's like a reconstruct, I guess. Just some tasteless advertising at the bottom of a canal. No, you no use use right now. <laughs> For a shot. What does this do? A couple of indicator lights are missing from this control panel. This panel usually closes the water lock, turning it into a bridge that lets you cross the curb. You pull the lever all the way up, and nothing happens. What about push nothing harder? happens. A cop. Mm -hmm. A spring brings the lever back to its original position. You still need to. Isn't there a sign over there saying functionality will be restored on Wednesday? Oh Lord. So we can't even get to the new area till Wednesday morning. Alright, a lot of this is just gonna be me doing different sections. I'm really not sure how to advance. I'm being super transparent with you, so I'm kind of just throwing rocks or something until I hit Again, officers, have you come to admire my mural? It's the Venacore room yours. Oh, not only have you found my address, you've discovered my biggest secret. I'm a coal miner. Do you have a real home? Does anyone in a city like this? If there's pain about any particular home she's lost, she's buried it deep, fortified herself against it. Mm. It doesn't have to do anything at all. Nothing does. Like me. Right now, I'm doing nothing at all. Are you a miner then? Yes. I keep hoping a shaft will collapse on somehow me. never happened. But somehow, it never happened. Shoot, piggy. It's what you do, isn't it? I gotta love good old Cindy. Driver, where's the boy? Rich people are educated. This is the more you'll ever earn in your life. You're back. Good. What can I help you with? You're on a boat. Why? Yes, I am. Do you have a name? Boat? No. It is called Cordelati. Now the word. It feels strange. So okay. How about Cordit because it was manufactured in Revishal East by a company called Cordelachi, and its hull is 19 paces long. 
How about Dolores? Why Dolores? Hmm. That's what well, great. it means nothing to me. I think I'll stick with the factory name. But thank you for the suggestion. My slew, I <laughs> like it a lot. I'm enjoying this part of the interview. It has so little to do with the murder we're investigating. <laughs> I really do, the lieutenant thinks. Is she thrown off yet? He's looking at the woman, assessing her. <laughs> Kim's like, why do we waste our time so of much? Of course there are. We're on an archipelago. How else are you supposed to get around? Yes, we are. <laughs> we are on Le Caillou. I don't know we're on a wreck of all we are. or whatever. And the city of Revachol is on the island of Le Caillou. I haven't seen anyone else drive a souped up coupe. Actually, that motor carriage has been specially issued to serve as a patrol and prep. It's for crossing long distances in a great. Neither is this. A toy, I mean. It's a machine for crossing long She's having <laughs> a good time arguing against the law. Too good, perhaps. Officer, I assure. The crowns of her teeth are pulls. Qualified pleasure craft operator. <laughs> so charming. Can I see your life? I just renewed its safety inspection last month, officers. It is completely seaworthy. In fact, it's taken part in not one, but two insulindic regattas. Well, that the, other time. the other time, I would have finished the race were it not for an urgent work matter. Much like. Actually, you don't. <laughs> but the do Wayfarer mean? Act specifically denies the RCM the authority to demand anyone's operator license. It's a little known fact among us law officials. Oh, no. I was just being polite. Even school children know the Wayfarer Act. Oh no. <laughs> so we can't pull around the Vander papers. Unless it's their passport. You need to save face if you want her respect. Demand the <laughs> passport. The woman is silent, smiling while the waves lap against the hull. The woman, born in the year three in the commune of Revachol, smiles at you. Face adorned with frown lines and crow's feet. Your name is Joyce? Me. Yes. Joyce is much more efficient. Uh, she doesn't like it. Probably a bad memory. Mean girls at school or some ancient lover. Gee, there's so much going on right now. My husband is. I have dual citizenship. A Vespertine is handier when traveling. She knows right. and returns the plastic bag to oh, her. I got bed. experience on there. Good. Say it. Can I have some money? Indirect taxation disapproves. You see, smart. I need something to give me a lowdown on this reality we're in. This reality. It's late to the metric episode. Just give me the lowdown. Actually, now it's not a good time to really low down. Wow, we'll do the first one. Ah, yes, the episode. Don't be faith, madame. He functions perfectly. We may be here a while then. Ask away off. All right, we're in. I know these all look good. But begin with the first, okay? I know he's all look up, but begin with the first. <laughs> okay. We're in Martinez, baby. Martinez is a district of Revachol. A very small district tucked away near the industrial harbor. Mm. North of the 881 and Jamrock. You would be excused for not knowing about it. Unimportant, they say. Forgotten, even. Shelled to smithereens during the revolution. It has its charms, just not this time of year. Mm, what sea is it then? It's not really a sea, it's the Bay of Re Yes. We are on an island in an ocean. The world's largest body Insulin of water. Lukewarm and unknowable. Went in and out of sight. Mm, I'm Marines. not a good ambassador. I've only been here. This place used to be a province. A workers resort before the city swallowed it and the artillery did its work. The reeds are the real star of the show here now. What's the name the of the island? Down Caillou, as you already know. Imagine a pebble. It is clear this pebble is of enormous value to her. All right. Revachol. The great Caillou. As if it's self-explanatory. <laughs> history, detective. They built this city to resolve history. The nations of the Occident. Or migrant workers from Seminine and Il Mara, depending mm. on your creed, in the Delorean century. 380 years Delorean ago. Delorean century. They say it's where the terrible, by that I mean, 
We are standing on a fertile, self-sufficient island able to sustain up to 200 million people in the middle of the Insulindic Ocean, the world's connective tissue. Do the dirt That's where the money is. Speak for yourself, officer. I'm 22 kilometers from the center of the world. That's soldering. Silence. The water. The light. Huh? There is no recognition. Only the immensity of the sea and the cold radiating from it. Yeah, I don't know any of this. We are where we are. I have no truer answer to give, unfortunate. This is one thought you... Was there something else you wanted to know? This has been informative. Thank you, ma'am. Uh. I'm sure my memory... Might I suggest not asking them all right now? Ma'am... Absolutely. My commitment here is long term. Uh, you're out of It's too, better yeah. not to eat all your... Indeed. I'm always at your service. Spread your hands. Uh, let's put that off for now, Glad I guess. to have been of assistance. The little that I know. Anything else? Oh, what does he want to talk to me about? We should think about calling it today, maybe. Nice as still. You should take care of that, then. Let's talk to him anyway. An officer of... Though he finds this situation frustrating. <laughs> he said, you need to go to bed. It is getting late. All right. Can I help you? Yes, have you got it? A lot. For the room and broken window, a hundred real. <laughs> Does that arrangement include you paying me what we already agreed you owe me? Uh... It's cold out for the difficult. Let's do come out after everything I've been through. What about what I have been through, huh? You're not the goddamn protagonist of this story. <clears throat> I am. This is my hostel cafeteria, and I need my money. Not until you bring. Okay. I might have something in my motor carriage we can use. When you're done. I really didn't want to resort this man to this. Is the... Oh, Lieutenant. We're done here. Yes. Have you got it? <clears throat> Does that arrangement include you paying me what we already agreed? That's why it's called game. freedom there. Everything is just a game to you. Good luck trying to use it. All the locks have an electronic component. They have to be unlocked down here with a master key before oh, no. your guest. Well, if they'll break the door lock. down. Oh, wonderful. Try to do that. I'll have to call you an ambulance. Not until you. Okay. I really did. Oh, Lieutenant. Oh lord. Is he gonna front money to us? Alright, let's see. Inside, you see a set of steering levers. I have something here we could sell. Look in the back, in the suspect trans- The cage at the back of the motor carriage looks right. I confiscated this for a little while back. We can take them to the pawn shop down by the Martinez Canal. Ooh, what do you mean confiscated them? Huh? A couple of weeks ago, I stopped a young man for going slower than the speed of traffic. Turns out he was some coalition official son and hi. Is it I a corruption? Is it? I was going to take them into evidence. But they weren't necessary for conviction. He never asked for them back. You just want to put them on no, the machine? No, that, that would be silly. I just... I don't know why I... He flashes a smile, barely visible in the dark. <laughs> Sorry, the sun because of me. As I said, they are useless. But thank you. The lieutenant nods as you take the spinners. All right, well, we have the spinners now. So now we got to go back to the pawn shop. Okay. There are several footprints in the mud left by heavy workers boots with reinforced toes and hobnails. What about Kuno? Fuck, does Kuno care? So? <laughs> you should thank him. Uh, thank him. what? Don't be- Are you s- 
This is some ancient bullshit, people! You found a real nice button to push. You're a little bit closer now to understanding this kid. Kuno... Hmm. Kuno doing a whole bunch. Alright, we're at the pawn shop. Hello, hello. Yes, we'd like to sell these hubcaps. Roy takes the hubcaps from... Yes, these are very, very... No one was defrauded or jumped. Of course. I mean... Thank you. Here's the hundred real you need for the wind. Anything else you're thinking of selling? What? Another time, perhaps. Patty said, don't mess up this money. Can I help you? Yes, well. choke on it great perfect i hope you enjoy your freezing cold you've really worn down this the electronic lock to your room has been disabled till 9 p.m tomorrow starting tomorrow please pay for each night in advance 20, 20 real real per, per night. night if your time stops advancing after two in the morning if you haven't paid for your room by then it's game over don't leave finding money to the last minute however it's harder to make cash after nightfall when the uh -oh. shops are closed and the streets empty. I'll take a room here too. Always happy to have officers from the RCM as guests. Anything else I can do for you? Another thing. Great. I love oh. those. Yes. I'll have to pay for my room in advance. That's 20 rail. This is the door to the... Just a moment. We should talk about our progress on the investigation. You want to talk about the progress on the balcony, you say? The air outside is brisk. The lieutenant is silent for a moment. He listens to the traffic hum. Then... Now then. We should talk about the investigation. But I also feel you're a bit... hazy on the RCM. Our role here, our uh. rights, our jurisdiction, basically. Yeah, no, I have it. a cigarette every night when I go over my... Oh, man. He looks so devastatingly cool with that. You're cold, detective. Again, I only have exactly one every night. <laughs> I'll do right then to be brief. <laughs> it's been a long and eventful day. Hiding today, why? Well, we inspected the victim's body, so that's good. Our inspection could have been more thorough. As it always can. Then you shot him in the chest, which wasn't ideal. And we still have to get him down from the tree. I admit, I'm a lot of practice. Being sober also tends to help with precision. We weren't uh. able to find the union leader, Evrat Claire, much less interview him. We tried to interview the Wild Pan's rep, but she asked us to do something for her first. Fine, so be it. I have a feeling Joyce knows how dangerous the situation really is. Uh. Above all, though, today was exhausting. What's with all the running? You run a lot. Is that a stand-up prison for you? <laughs> He's coming about all the times we had to run around a while. I have a really good theory about why you're running so fast, son. Just you wait until we get up tomorrow. I don't know why I do the things I do, Lieutenant Kifagi. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. It's impressive, to say the least. For me, those are some stylish shoes too, by the way. Those loafers. Must be hard to run into the kid. Uh, uh, so what are part of that? The RCM. That's quite limited, actually. The power officers of the Rebachol Citizens Militia exercise most frequently is imposing fines of up to 1,000 real for offenses in accordance with an interdepartmental schedule. That'd be an easy thing to review. Yes, although indirectly. 
as citizens can always request records from their local state. Officers of the RCM have been known to take bribes of less than the prescribed fine amount. It undermines trust in the RCM. Hmm, all right, what else? We can arrest people, of course, but rather than bringing someone in directly, it's preferable to serve a station or call sleep. It prevents confusion. I'm not going to show someone up. You can't. Those who don't show up become fugitives, though, and have fewer legal rights. When power calls you, you come. But power itself is a fragile trick of perception. Mm. We are permitted to use whatever force we deem necessary, even lethal. Have you ever killed anyone, Kim? Yes. The last time was four years ago. Oh, damn. He says it matter-of-factly and moves on. We don't convict. We arrest and send them to coalition government courts in Couron and La Delta. The prosecution works off our testimonies and records, which is why it's paramount to keep them. I don't even know if I killed anybody. That's an improbability. Of course you've killed people. It's somewhere down there, melting in all the I drink. must have a feel it in me. Probably Prison have. 41 is known for He's not judging you. He's respectfully acknowledging the difficulty of working in your precinct. <laughs> I thought who made all these rules then? The coalition government. The RCM was formed by the coalition government to restore order in the international zone. Or perhaps it is better to say we were allowed to form. It's a point of contention whether the citizens of Halachol or the coalition government. Let's say coalition it's government. It's probably more honest, yes. Either way, the Moralinton leases us the right to keep the peace in this city. And they will take it away. Moral Inter? The Moralist International are the world's largest political organization. You know who they are. They have been running this place after the revolution failed. If I didn't know how would you describe them. They are a union of center-left and center-right parties across the real belt. Our coalition government is just one of its many projects. They also run the ICP, EPIS, most intergovernmental organizations mm. in the world. Oh, you think the Moral Inter are a fact. I try not to have opinions on facts until it. It is more than that. There's some kind of affection in him. You like the world? Yes, too? I did when I was younger. In my but the years have changed that. I don't know what I believe in now. No, I believe in the RCM. That's enough for me. <laughs> that was Do you? Opinion. Immigrants live with kids who became men or turned into women. Things are bad out there. We need to give us the right to police. I say we're the stooges. No, we are stooges of the world's biggest bourgeois organization, protecting the people of Revachol. That's the hand we were dealt. Without the MI, we would be common vigilantes. Yeah, vigilantes sound Sadly, bad. it is what we already are to the people of Martinez. Most of them, at least, especially the Union. Vigilantes. <laughs> I expect our... The dying lights of the city shimmer below. This soldier... They really don't like us here. And the mouth on that kid, Kuno. Oh. It's, diff it's our fault for leaving this place to the dogs, to the Union, to the... Com we run this city. West of the river is RCM land. It's incredibly hard. Human beings are... Uh, but we are in control, and it's worth it. The organization works. Our systems work. I hope the sketch does see some good there. Into. Me too. But I wouldn't count on any drastic change. Yeah, it's getting very cold now. Ooh. Let's go. I got a 30k experience. So I have to get 20 bucks per day. It's cold and not particularly inviting. Let's crawl in. The sheets feel at once coarse and clammy against your skin. The bed sags beneath your and then sleep. And then sleep doesn't come. But I want to sleep. Obviously, you're in bed with your maybe it's the bed's fault. Oh, it's a side. little better. Colours, scenes, and half formed something to do with. What was it that the lieutenant said? Union, your breathing steadies. A great silence washes over you uh -oh. until your eyelids twitch in your. This is 
the dream. Oh, that's itself. Do you remember the scent of your childhood? Uh, what a hot sort of usually go to die. You're not kidding anyone here. Do you remember your wife's hand on your face? He said who? Do you remember the warmth of her thighs? Between her legs and in her mouth? I was That's left. right, funky baby. And you just stood there. Tell me, where are your friends? Human beings have friends, Wait, every boy. Or they get it all back. No, it's gone. Three times gone and never come. You found Elysium. What is Elysium? Everything. The pile and the easel. You really dropped the ball, oh, Harry. You felt everything when you really Four fucked up. Four point six billion people. No, I can come back from You're that. not coming back from shit. Thrashing around in that high conductivity state of yours. Bumping into things and acting like a clown. I'm trying to solve the case, man. You're trying to what? I can't hear you. This is just a word dream. So something is wrong. Sleep shouldn't be this bad, this dry, this unnourishing. <laughs> oh yes, party boy. And it's worse than the one before. Time to go to work in the shit factory. The shit factory? Oh, got more health. I got more experience to upgrade something. Great. You know what I realized? I think that was my one I didn't use. Good going, buddy. Uh, what the hell? This is how you'll be now when I close my eyes. Yes. Wait till you see the one with the chick in it. It's gonna be a good oh, one. What shit? You don't know. You don't know. Some bro that messed you up. It'll come to you. It'll come to you. you mean, why are you so tired? Too tired and down to even think? <laughs> it is worrying, isn't it? I need to feel super good, man. That's not really true. Your heart has finally pumped all... Don't do that. Stay strong. The hangover will wear off. You don't need to keep doing this to yourself. Wait, what is speed? Speed is a potent central nervous system stimulant. If you got up from this floor because of a holy vow, you made 16... Don't be silly. There was no vow. You were high on speed. That was the only reason you got up. You can't uh, detect I'm not gonna keep it. looking for spoon. Are you sure? Ready to live as this pathetic shell of yourself for days? Basically, a week. Let's be honest. Two weeks. Uh, Maybe three. I thought I'd doubt for Suit drugs. yourself. Slow. All right, we're gonna end it here. I know it's been a little bit disjointed of an episode. Try to do better. I think as I was worrying down, trying to figure out where to go next, you're kind of seeing all the stuff that didn't make that the, the series. You're kind of seeing all the stuff as it kind of jumps together towards it. Uh, we got through day one. Hopefully there'll be more next time. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe. Make sure you keep following your boy Vish Flat for more of this disco playthrough. Until next time, it's your boy. Peace.